Hi, and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a word search in Word. So the first thing we need to do is to make the grid. I've just got a default document open here. This is an A4 page. And I'm going to go up to Insert, Table, click on the drop down. I'm going to go right down to Insert Table. Here you'll see there's a dialog box. In the top box here, under number of columns, you can fully customize this and put in as many columns as you want. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to pop in 15 and number of rows, 15. And don't forget, you can put as many columns and rows into your word search, depending on how difficult you want it to be and how many words you want to insert. Once you've done that, just go down and select OK. Now at the moment you can see that Word by default stretches the table across your entire document. But we want these cells to be square. So what we're going to do is select the entire table and the way in which you do that is you either click on this square at the top here or just grab your mouse and click and drag. Then we're going to go up to the Layout tab and we're going to go along to Height and Width. Now again, these can be fully customised. You don't have to do the same measurements that I do. You can make them much bigger or smaller, but you have to be a little bit careful because any smaller than the demonstration and you're not going to be able to see the letters unless you want a really tiny one. So let's go to Height and I'm going to put in 0. Point, let's delete that and put in 0. 0.7. And again, I'm going to do the same here. 0.7 and press enter. And now you can see that all of our cells are square. And you can just see this blue highlighted shading, which means that whatever we put into these cells is going to be sort of top right. So we want to center all of the letters that will go into these boxes. So make sure the cell is selected and then make sure you're on the layout tab and then go along to this section here and just select the middle one to center all of your text. So when I type a letter, you can see it's in the center of the cell. Now, because the table is right at the top of our page, I'm going to put my cursor in this top left cell and just press enter. And it will just move the table down a little bit so that we can then just pop in a title. It's going to highlight it, increase the size using increase font size. And then I'm just going to underline it. This is all under the Home tab. And the next thing I'm going to do, select my table and I'm going to center it. So again, I'm on the Home tab and I'm going to go along here to this center text and it will center that table for you. So now we want all of our words. So I think the best way to do this is to insert the words at the bottom here in a text box because we can go ahead and type them all, but it gives you little flexibility to move them around your document. So I'm going to go up to insert, text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Then I'm simply going to click and drag. Now all text boxes are inserted into your document with a black border. If you don't want that black border, just select the text box, go to Shape Format, and then click on the drop down on Shape Outline and select No Outline. When you click away, you can see that you can't see the text box, but if you click here, your text box is there. Once again, if you want it centered, select it go up to the Align tool, click on the drop down and select Align to Center. And that will align your text box. The next thing I'm going to do is insert all of my words. So I'm just going to paste them in from another document and because they all don't fit, I just need to... Now you can do two columns of these if you want to. You just have to make an additional text box. So. All you need to do to move these text boxes, just move your cursor over the top of these boxes and you can move them in or out, up or down and resize them. So all I'm going to do is copy and paste it. So I'm going to use Command or Control C, Command or Control V 
and you can see I've copied that again. And now all I need to do if I want two columns is let's delete up to, sorry, let's delete from strawberry upwards. And on this one at the bottom, delete everything. Double click inside your text box to access the text. And then I'm going to delete everything up to Kiwi. And there we have these two text boxes. And then to align them both, let's just make them where we want them. So all we're going to do is make sure you've highlighted this text box and then press your command or control key on your keyboard and select the other one. So now we've selected both of them. And then make sure you're on shape format. Go along to the align tool and then we're going to align to the middle. So if we click this option, it will align the two text boxes or the two boxes up here. If it doesn't quite look right, which I don't think it does there, I'm going to go and align to the top and you can just see it's slightly shifted. So the top boxes are now perfectly lined up. Once that's happened, I'm actually going to group these two boxes together. So again, select them both, go to shape format, go along to group and select group. Now you can move these round as one. But don't worry if you need to go and adjust them, then again select it, go back up to group and just select ungroup. Once again, I'm just going to align this to the center. I've selected it, go up to the align tool and select align to center. And there you have everything lined up to the center. So now what we need to do is just insert these words into the word search. And you can be quite random about it. And don't forget, you can fit them diagonally. You can fit them back to front diagonally, across the top horizontally, and also vertically, and also in reverse. So I'm just going to speed up the video whilst I just insert all of my text. Okay, so once you've got all of the words inserted, you now just need to go in and infill all of the other spaces with just random letters. Okay, so once you finish that, your word search is complete. So to customize this in any way, you can of course move the words around here if you want to or add more words if you want to. You can also change the color of this table if you want to select the table and go up to table layout, sorry, table design. Then you've got this section here which deals with all the shading. So if you want to change the color of the squares or no color, you can also increase or decrease the size of the borders. So if you click on the drop down and you want to increase the size of those borders, just click on a thicker border, go to borders and then select all borders. And then you can see that the borders have been made a little bit thicker. And again, if you want to make this bigger or smaller, then all you need to do is select the table, go up to table layout and just increase the height and width of the cells. And then you can, of course, increase the font size of all of the text. So let's say, for example, let's go to one centimeter and one centimeter, press enter. And then if you go up to home and you go to text here, click on the drop down. Let's say we wanted it 11. Okay, it's a little bit smaller. Let's say 12. Let's increase it a little bit more. 14 and 16. So then you can make it a little bit bigger. Oh, I've just noticed there's a mistake. So there you have your word search. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.